That is a lot more form than I was expecting coming into this. Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here and welcome to Manage the Farm. Because November, harvest time, and because it looks neat and is a work in progress game where you tend the land and live by the sweat of your pixelated brow. I've also just been in the mood for farming games, so let's go! Press uh, enter to start. I know very little about the game, aside from the fact that it is early development, and we get rain. Cool. What's this up on the top left, I wonder? How long I'm playing? Interesting. So yeah, here's our controls. We start out with a few basic things. I don't know what that bottom thing on the list is. Seeds, maybe? I have no clue. But yeah, I'm going into this absolutely blind. And it's an early development, so I don't expect to get a lot done. But I wanted to take a look at it anyway. It looks neat. I like farming games. So what do we get? We get different tools. We can grow things. We can cut things. We can cut down trees. We can cut down sticks. Okay. Let's go. So right off the bat, looks kind of neat. Reminds me a little bit of, um, Stardew Valley. A little bit. With the art style and all. Okay. So a little bit slow moving, but otherwise everything seems neat so far. So, uh, cow, pig, and chicken up there. Oh, um, um, there we go. Wow, those are some long-handled tools. Uh, how do I do... Am I doing the wrong tool? A lot of I confused. Ah, there we go. Do I have to approach things from a certain angle? It's a bit odd if so. Yeah, we got a guy with an arrow, so I figure. Let's go see a guy with an arrow. And that works just fine. With the stone, it took a few tries. Hmm. Don't worry, guy with arrow. Wait, are you trapped in your house by shrubbery? What's up with that? Poor guy. Guess that's why he's out on his balcony. He's like, help, help. I'm overgrown. I can't get out of my house to eat. I could jump, but I'm old and frail, so I might break something. How do I break this plant? Hmm. Okay, so the controls are not perfect. But again, early development. Yay! You are free, good sir. How do I interact with you? Oh. Okay. Space bar makes a bunch of blue squares appear. That's cool. Mostly around trees. I guess maybe the lone one off to itself is maybe a place where I can grow a tree. Yeah, um... Sir? I want to help you, but I can't seem to help. Okay then, fantastic. Well, uh, good luck with your life then. I'm going to explore. Because we're supposed to be able to go fishing and see a village. Hey! Looks like a dock. We can do the fish thing. And yeah, this is a very large farm area. I don't know if it's like the final game will be like this. With all the already existing crop areas. Or if it'll all just be a big field and you make it yourself. I'm a little bit confused. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it takes, it takes very precise positioning in order to break some of the stones. I don't think I like that. I like just being in front of it, clicking, and then it does the thing. Ooh, press E to fish. Don't mind if I do. Well, I caught nothing. Okay then. So do I just wait here until I get a nibble? Seems like it. I'm not getting a nibble. Do I have to fish where the uh, fish are, or do I just get a random bite? I'm a little bit unsure. So let's cast. Okay. Looks like we're forced to fish just right here. Hmm. Alright then. Wait. Maybe if I go over here. Nope. Just teleports me to that one spot. Well, the attempt was made. I sat here for quite a while listening to the rain and trying to catch a fish, but apparently fishing may not be a thing right now. Like, you're able to do the fishing, but you just can't catch anything. I don't know, maybe I just did something incorrectly. But yeah, I like the idea of all of this. It's like a big farm world. 
Seems I couldn't make a good labyrinth type of game. Like you start out, everything's super overgrown and you have to go on the adventure of a farm life, clearing out as much as you can until things happen. I don't know. It seems like it has potential, having a map like this. It's super cluttered and the controls are a bit janky. So it's a little bit hard to get around at times and of course slow moving, but it has potential and I like that. It's a good start to a game whatever it's going to end up as. So good job, developer, on that part. Ooh, that a graveyard. We're going to have combat in the future. Fight off zombie hordes. Got some nice art going on. Uh, I can't get through. Wait, I can get through. Combat ahoy! Yeah, take that, shrubbery. Can I go? Aha, uh -huh, I can go in here. Harvest the fruits of the earth. Corpses. <laughs> not not. Dracula? No. Alright. Can I go in here? Actually, it looks a little bit blocked off. Hmm. Maybe in the future, you'll be able to go in there. Alright, so let's mosey. Go see what else there is to see. I believe there is a town somewhere in this big, wide open, yet still very enclosed because of the maze farm world. Hello, people! I visited your cemetery. It's kind of nice. A little bit small. It's got an open coffin just kind of lying around. Hope you people know that. It's raining out. It's going to get wet. Hello, townsfolk! What are we talking about today? Are we going to lynch somebody? Is there a witch about that we need to burn? Can't talk. Alright, fine. Be that way. Nice shiny stone. Can I have it? It would look good on my farm. I've got some nice art going on. I like this. But I have no clue what I'm doing and I can't seem to talk to anybody. So let's clear up this, I suppose. Yup. I mean, I could be farming on my farm, but hey, the whole world is a farm. So I may as well make use of that. Like, I wonder if, in the final work, you'll be able to just go around and convert the entire world into one big farm. So let's go ahead and clear this off and see if I can do anything. Ah, man, I'm too tired to continue and have to sleep. Well, that sucks. I was hoping to clear off this area and have a nice little cleared out spot for the village, but apparently not. Sorry, people, you don't get a farm today. You gotta go without food. Or whatever it is you live off. I don't know. I can't talk to you. I don't know if you can talk. Maybe you just stare at each other and that's how you communicate. Maybe it's telepathy. Ooh. NPC telepathy. Hey. Oh, nope. That's the old guy's house. Alright. How do I get home? I think mine was a little bit north of his. And it's like a maze. So if you're trying to get home. Good luck to you. You could easily be blocked off and go, Oh no, i got to go around the world for this. Wait, I think I have a way. I think I have a way. Can I go up? Uh, I can't. Ooh, I'm off the map. I'm still off the map. Uh, okay, there I am. Okay, that's... That's interesting. And mildly concerning. Will the map expand once the game is finished, I wonder? Because it seems a bit unusual that I'm able to walk off the map entirely and just keep going. Uh, hello? Piggy? Piggy? Out of the way, pig! Oh no! I can't get home! I need sleep! But everything's blocking me! Help! Cow! Chicken! Wow, the animals are placed in just such a way that I cannot get through. Wait, wait, maybe? Oh, I think I can make it home at last. Now I can find another sleep. Nice looking house. Looks like it's being held up by uh, tape and a little bit of propping over here. Alright, time to sleep. Sleep. Oh, I killed the rain. So, so far I've managed to get a bunch of grass. And flowers or something? I'm not really sure what that is. I'm a little bit confused. 
So, I have no clue what I'm doing. And I don't really feel like going all the way back to the village, so let's... I suppose deal with this around the animals. Sure, why not? Also, I will say, I don't like how the controls work. Because it takes some kind of weird precision in order to actually do things. Like right now, I can't seem to kill this grass. Don't know why. Oh, maybe I'm just not able to interact with some of it. Because that's where the animals are or something. I don't know. That's weird. And yeah. You have to be in just the right position. And of course the controls don't always respond. By the way, it's WASD and mouse. You saw the controls at the beginning. Or at least some of them. But uh, you, if you're facing a direction and you're against something... Yeah. I'm pushing right now. I can't change direction right now. The only way to change direction is to completely walk away. I don't like that. I feel like that needs to be changed. But again, early development. So, plenty of time for change. Plenty of room for improvement. I have no clue how to plant, though. Because I see a thing on this list that looks like it seeds... Unfortunately, though, I don't know how to go about getting seeds. I would assume maybe you'd speak to the old guy down in the corner, and maybe he gives you tutorial and seeds, but I couldn't speak with him. Yeah, still, this is a good foundation for whatever it's going to be. I believe I read on the game's page that there's going to be a mine and stuff like that, so that'll be kind of fun. Because they got all the basics in place. You got your huge tracts of land got all the farming labyrinth going on plenty to do and of course you got the village cemetery so it seems like there's going to be a lot going on once it's complete but right now it is the very basics and it's a little bit hard to control at times annoyingly so with things like the stones and all this weird precision that I need I don't understand that Yep. Yeah, because you have to be at, like, a slight angle for the stones. you got to be slightly above the stones in order for that to work. There we go. Yeah, because if I were lined up with it like I would be, you know, like, feet to the bottom of this box, I wouldn't be able to break the stone. I have to be slightly off so my swing goes into it somehow. I mean, I suppose a slight bit of realism, maybe. Yeah, you got to be up for that weird. Yeah, overall, good foundation. I like what I'm seeing, and I hope for good things for this game, because I'm really curious what would happen in a world where most of the land is farmland. Because <laughs> you get the town over there, but it was super tiny. And of course, you get the fishing area with one fishing spot, but the rest of the world, big farm. I'm really curious what that'll be. But anywho, this has been Manage the Farm. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, think of the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, think of the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I will see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.